Welcome to Hoffman Photography. My name is Rainer. I'm a photographer and photo instructor. The exposure meter in your camera usually does a pretty good job, but not always. Here is when and why exposure metering fails. I bet that not all of your images are perfectly exposed, nor are mine. Have a look at these examples. Those images had something in common. But before I tell you what it is, here is a little experiment that you can do at home. All you need is some white and some black cardboard. And your camera, of course. Set the camera to fully automatic mode and then take a picture of the white cardboard and another one of the black cardboard or the other way around, doesn't matter. Just make sure that the cardboard in both cases completely fills the frame and that the lighting is identical. And then have a look at those images. Pause the video to make that little experiment. Did you look at the two images you just shot? Well, if both images show a more or less medium gray cardboard, then congratulations, your camera works properly. Or more precisely, the exposure meter of your camera works as it should. But wait, shouldn't the picture of the black cardboard show, well, a black cardboard? And the picture of the white cardboard, shouldn't it show a white cardboard? Of course, it should, but it can't. And the reason why this happens is actually quite simple. The exposure meter of a camera measures the light that is reflected from the subject, it does not measure the brightness level of the illumination. The black cardboard reflects relatively little light, so the exposure meter thinks, well it doesn't think of course, but you know what I mean, it thinks that it must be fairly dark and consequently tries to compensate by exposing longer or open the aperture or increase the ISO number more than necessary. The result is an overexposed image. The cardboard appears grey in the image. Exactly the opposite happens in case of the white cardboard. It reflects a lot of light, so the exposure meter again tries to compensate, but this time by decreasing the exposure and as a result the white cardboard appears grey, just as a black one. Whenever your subject is mostly dark, like a black dog, or mostly bright, like snow, reflective light metering fails and the images need more or less exposure compensation. Reflective light metering works best when the subject consists of a good mix of dark and bright areas. And again you can do a little experiment. Take another picture of your black and white cardboard, again in full, fully automatic mode. But this time make sure that one half of the picture is filled by the black cardboard and the other half is filled by the white cardboard. Take a picture and have a look and then let's see what happens. Pause the video to do that experiment. Now everything should be fine. The black cardboard should be black or at least a very dark grey and the white cardboard should be white or at least almost white. Luckily many subjects are a good mix of dark and bright areas and therefore the exposure metering in those cases is more or less correct, if not exactly spot on perhaps. In a nutshell, reflective light metering is a reason why exposure metering sometimes fails. In the days of film, whenever the exposure had to be spot on, we therefore used either a grey card, this one, or an incident light meter, like this one. But 
that's a topic for another video. As always, thanks for watching and stay tuned.